Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with myself teaching the Irish penny whistle. Today I'll be going over a tune called the Blacksmith's Reel. It's a very simple two part reel in G major and it's not overly complicated or anything like that. It's just very, very short and very, very simple. It's just to get you used to playing reels on this instrument. So let's get right into it. Actually, before we actually get going there, um, would you mind hitting the subscribe button and a little bell notification? Should be, you could just see it there. Um, it'll keep you up to date with videos as and to when they come out. But the first thing I actually do now is uh, I'll actually uh, play the tune really, really slow, slowly through so you can actually hear what it sounds like um, to get a gist, gist for it. So here it is, this is the blacksmith's reel. Slow. So there you go, that's the en entire tune played um, at a fairly, a fairly slow, pa a fairly slow pace, uh, so you can just get it you know, into your ear when you're listening to it. But what I'll do now is take it line by line and just break it down. And it's all notes that, that I've actually um, shown you before, so it's, it, it's, nothing, it's nothing too overly complicated at all um, in playing this tune. So we'll get into the first part. So the first part of the, the tune goes like so. The first line, sorry, goes like this. So hear that again. Okay, so it's there's nothing nothing overly complicated happening there. So it's just um uh, back. Back D, B, G, you know, B, they're, they're fairly simple notes that have been played there. Just one last time. Okay, then the second line. So the first two lines together, I'll let you hear them together. And then the third line is the same as the first. Same as the first line. So I'll play the first three lines together so you can hear it. And then the last line of the first part, it's all really, really short. So it starts in a C. Did you hear that line again? So that's the first part of the tune. Again, you can hear it. It's 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 not long at all. It's it's a, it's a very very simple tune. I'll let you. I'll just uh, play the first the first part now, so you can and hear it in its entirety again. So and feel free to play along uh, when you pick up the other lines, obviously. And that's the the first part of the the blacksmith reel. So, and there you have it. 
Now we'll go on to the second part of it, and again, fairly, fairly short, and there's nothing too, there's nothing complicated about this tune at all, so it's, it's uh, great for learning now. So, I'll play the, I'll play the first line of the second part of the Blacksmith's Free, and you can hear it. See, very, very easy. Uh, G, B, G, uh, D, G, B, G. Okay, just one last time, that the first line of the second part. All right, and then the second line of it. So I'll play those uh, first, the uh, first two lines of the second part there again, so you can hear them. All right, and feel free to like slow the the video down as well if it's if I'm I'm going too fast, um, so you can pick it up. And the third, the third uh, line of this second part of the tune is the same as the the, f uh, the first line of the second <laughs> second part of the tune. Again, G B G D G uh, B G. So I'll play the the first three lines of that tune together, so you can hear. the first three lines and then the last line of the, the second part of the tune. Let you hear that one more time. And that is the, the whole second part of that tune. Again, very easy, very simple, nothing complicated about it. Of course, you can't make it as, a tune as complicated as you want eventually, or whatever you'd like to do with the tune. But uh, what I'll do now, I'll just play the, the whole entire second part, and feel free to play along if and when you do feel comfortable enough to play along. So, second part. Then and then a G. Um, so that is the the whole second part of the the blacksmith's reel, and it's the two parts together. Okay, so now we're on to the section of the video talking about ornamentation and how and where to embellish the tune, or at least my take on it. Anyway, uh, I do actually have a video also of well a beginner's explanation to um, ornamentation in the tin whistle, and hopefully you'll be able to see a link to it up there. If I'm pointing in the right direction, otherwise it's up there. <laughs> but I think it's up there. Um, that video uh, describes things like crans, cuts, and rolls. So it's it's a, it's a nice video to get yourself to, to grips with it. Now I'll just go over the blacksmith's reel and sort of demonstrate in places where I would put um, certain bits of ornamentation in it so you can have a listen and try it out for yourself. Also, this is a fairly open you know it's a fairly open tune you can place ornamentation you know in different places don't always just like follow my way of doing it you can you know try a roll there or, or a cut there or, you know it's all it's all open-ended so <coughs> but anyway I'll, I'll show you some places that you can uh, place ornamentation in the tune so the blacks are straight the first part So 
So if, if you get a listen there, you can hear that I'm, I'm primarily using a, a B roll quite a lot instead of just holding the B long. Um, and that's consistent throughout the whole, uh, the whole playing of that tune. Um, and also doing a little trill on the, on the index finger here. Just to add another flavor or another texture to the, the tune to make it sound um, pretty and nice. And then a thing that I do quite a bit, I sort of like, well, I wavered off the tune a little bit um, and uh, improvised a tiny bit there. Um, I just went to a low D in, instead of playing the regular uh, tune. I'll just let you hear again a few things what I was doing. So it's just it's just basically jumping around a bit. I just went instead of doing I think it was a G. I just did a, a low a low D and, and up again. And then you can hear the the trill on the uh, index finger on the bottom hand. And I don't think I've actually went over that before, but hopefully do a video um, describing about that as well in the future. But just uh, it's just a brief little example of what you can do with the tune. And uh, yeah, no, that, that's pretty much it for that the first part of that one. All right, so now I'm going to discuss a few bits of ornamentation in the second part of the tune. And what I'll do, I'll just go straight out and just play it and then describe where I, I placed the, the little um, bits of decoration or embellishments in the tune. So this is the second part of the Blacksmith's Ray. So there's like three three things I was doing there. I was like pushing out a note like so. You know the first note of the second second part of the tune. I was doing that on most lines actually, just pushing out the G note. You can do that. And also at the, the end of some of the the uh, lines I did a, a D cran. So, so the D cran was something we discussed in the previous video. It was just it's played like and then sped up. It's like a little cluster of notes and sounds quite pretty when it's um yeah when you play it up to speed and then one of the last things i just did in that was just another little trill it's just like a little hammer down note do you know on the the index on the index finger there uh going from the the g to the f uh, f sharp so i'll just I'll just play that one more time so you can hear all those little bits played together and push there was a push there is a, a crown and then there's like a little trill then on the index finger on the bottom hand so So there you have it, there's some bits of ornamentation in the second part of the Blacksmith's Rue. Okay, so this is just the last little section of the video that I thought to add at the very end. And what I'll be doing here now, will be playing the tune through maybe one, well, say two times through, and just adding even more um, ornamentation to it. And just seeing where you can actually just take, just, a, you know, a really, really nice, easy tune, and you can, what you can do with it. So in essence, it's just giving you know more ideas, um, hopefully more you know value, so you can hear where a tune can uh, go. So I'll play the blacksmith three um, two times through, and you you build here what you can do with it.
So there's just a few more ideas for you to uh, mess around with uh, on, on the, the blacksmith's free. Right folks, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks very much for watching the video if you made it the whole way to the end. Also, if you do get a chance to give a thumbs up, write a comment or subscribe, all those things are like really very much appreciated. And until the next time, until the next video, I will see you all again very soon. So, thank you.